This video is about playing a disguise shot from the front of the courts on the backhand side. When you decide to play a disguise shot, a delayed shot, it's still very important that there is some pace into it. It must not be played from a too low position. You have to play sort of net height. If you don't do that, it's becoming too slow. Also, if you take your racket too far back, that's also giving the opponent more time to react. So it's all about, even though the disguise is coming, it's a very, very short and sharp disguise, and thereby you're not losing time, but at least trying to be a little bit more deceptive and see whether you can outsmart your opponent on it. The technique in the shot is, is a very simple thing. You have, of course, to reach the shuttle as early as possible with your backhand grip. And as you're moving up and, and reaching it very early, you have the opportunity to draw the racket a little bit back and then push it cross court. But it's all got to be in a very quick way of movement of your racket. But uh, it can be very positive. It can be a very good shot to play because the opponent have to cover the full court and then suddenly this quick disguise is coming cross court. A lot of players are underestimating how important it is just to play what I call normal pace. A lot of players have a tendency, to, they like to play dis disguise shots all the time. But by doing so, they're often losing out in pace. And you have to find a very nice balance between the two. If you have too many disguise shots, perhaps the pace in your game is sort of dropping. On the other hand, if you are going too simple and just going for pace the whole time, maybe that's not the way either. So it's all about finding a very good balance between the two things. Badminton is a fantastic game. There are so many options, there's so many possibilities. And again, talking about this delayed shot, it all depends on how early are you getting it, how flat are you able to play it, where is your opponent positioned and all that. If your opponent is in a good position, of course, you have to make sure that it's going higher than him, that he can't intercept it. On the other hand, is he out of position? Then it's very nice and neat if you can play these fast, really flat shots into the other deep corner and they can't retrieve that one. So it all depends on what kind of situation you're in and that's the beauty about the game.